Hello my good friends, it's Dino, your handyman. You're in my handyman zone. Today we're gonna fix a dishwasher. The problem with this dishwasher is the door. See where that, that just fallen. That usually you got a little spring relief on the door. The problem is two springs on the bottom of either side of the door. Springs, strings, and rollers. Any one of which can fail. If just one fails, you'll get this, this fallen door syndrome. Hardly ever both break at the same time, but if you left one broken for a while, I'm sure the other one would break soon thereafter and it would just fall even faster. The way I diagnose this, number one, I know in my head, the door's falling like that, it's a problem. The string, the spring, or the rollers. Whether it's a Whirlpool, a Mana, Kenmore, whatever appliance brand, they all have the same part. Maybe like a Mealy or a Bosch, like a European made one, would have different ones. These are the strings. You can see these little plastic fittings at each end. And it's a nylon, it's a nylon string. The kit comes with two strings, one for each side of the door. And these rollers, assemblies, that the strings go over. I took a look in there last week when I ordered this and I could see the spring and I could see the spring was okay. Sometimes the spring is cracked. Screw on each side. We're gonna take that screw out. We're gonna set it aside where we won't lose it. But this repair only takes a couple of minutes so uh, and it's not too much of uh, confusion. So I put the screws right here. Now this kick plate's gonna come out. There's usually dust on the top, which makes it easy to orient when we put it back in. So I'll just set it aside in the same orientation because I don't want to like get upside down and then get mixed up, especially if it's my first time doing this. And there might be a second kick plate in there, which goes behind the first kick plate like that. And it would make up for the difference in your floor height. Although this one looks like it was just thrown under there because the floor height is okay. I'm going to take a look under there for any money or anything good. Here's the string, so as I pull the string, here's our spring. Now the spring's gonna have a hook on each end. It, usually when the spring breaks, it breaks right here. Spring because it wouldn't, it wouldn't have a hook on one end. This spring is indexed blue, which is usually for the dishwashers without the wooden panel on the door. If you have a cabinets with a wooden panel on the front of your door, it's gonna have a different a stronger spring because there's going to be a heavier door. It's not going to be blue. It's going to be a different color. Here's the good string with two ends on it. Here's the old string. Has one end and the other end has pulled off. There's not many tools you need for this job. I like to have a length of a string and I like to have one of these screwdrivers that also doubles as a nut driver. Often you'll find a couple of screws that hold the top of the dishwasher to the bottom of the cabinet. You may not have to do this. The new floor is above the old floor. I put these blades under the front feet of the dishwasher. It help get it over the lip of the new floor. And I'm gonna kinda wiggle the dishwasher out. There's a drain pipe, a water pipe, and electric under there. We want to keep our eye. We're not pulling anything tight, and uh, there's no water leaking. And what I'm looking for is the other spring. I can see it. I don't know if I can reach it. This is the string for the other side is also pulled off on one. There's a little recess under that side of the cabinet. The spring sprung and it shot under there, the second spring. So uh, I got this long piece of wire and a couple of those neobodium magnets. Spring out of there. Ouch, I'm gonna hook it out of there. Spring number two, it has both ends intact. Here's the front of the dishwasher. Here's that roller. Okay, this is the new one, that's the old one. This is why I like these uh, 
screwdrivers, but also a double as a nut driver. Because I could just pop this out really quick. Orient it with your new one. You see that's a keyhole there, so we put this key in the keyhole and rotate it until we can put that screw back in. Of course the other side is the reverse of this side. I have to show you that. Our spring You'll find a hole in the back of the frame that the spring hooks into. The spring is totally off. There'll usually be some scratches around the hole because the spring has been there for years. So you can easily identify the hole it was in. And I didn't pull this dishwasher all the way out because the electric wire is tight. I could go shut the circuit breaker off, disconnect the electric and the plumbing and pull the dishwasher all the way out. But I can see the hole and I got the spring in there. Here is a piece of the old string that broke. We're gonna take that off. And the new one's slightly different, but we're just going to hook that over there. We're going to put it around the roller. And it, there's a little clip at the bottom here that the spring, the string, slips in. In other words, it doesn't go over that because then it wouldn't be on the roller. It goes in between the roller and the spring. I told you, I like to have a string. I hook it around the spring. That way I can pull the spring out. And I'm going to try to do this without knocking the camera over. I can pull the string out enough, the spring out enough to hook the string over it. And simply take the string out. Now, that's basically one side done. Let me show you how that operation. Now, simply repeat the process for the other side. Oftentimes, it's just one string, spring, or roller that's broken, one side. You can use the other side as reference as to what hole the spring goes into, how the string goes around the rollers. Pretty simple stuff. You just saw it right here. You can go back and look at the video again. Okay, it's a KitchenAid. I can see that. But what model number is it? So you open the door and you look around the inside of the door frame. There's a sticker right here. And that sticker has the model number KUDP01FLBL6. The Google KitchenAid door springs. And I put that model number. A whole bunch of websites you can shop for price and availability. Whether you need a new dish basket, you need new caps on the end of your uh, slide arms. You need rollers for your dish basket. You need a, a wash arm, whatever part you need for whatever appliance, that's how you go about locating it. Thanks for watching my YouTube friends. I'm Dino Pinch, you're in my handyman zone. Take the minute right now, subscribe to my channel. One hand washes the other. I'm helping you out with this stuff. Help me out with my YouTube gig. Subscribe to my channel, rate the video. Uh, so do that and use the comment box below. Myself or one of the other YouTubers here, be glad to help you out. Thank you.